Mm. This car is a little too nice for me. Oh, I don't fit at all. Yeah, Mercedes, it's on the. I don't fit in this car that well, guys. Okay, let's see where I'm going here. Relax guys, I didn't buy a Mercedes. And I probably never will. Unless I was a millionaire. to work any of the shit on this car. The car drives nice, I'll give it that much. Just my rear view. It's an electric, electric steering wheel tilt and everything. It's kind of cool. Forget what kind of car this is. All I know is it's a two-door SL something, SL550, I think. I don't know. I honestly do not remember. I'm gonna have to set the camera down here in a minute, guys. Um, it's ass, ass cock of traffic here. I think this thing's like an 05 or 04, 06, somewhere around there. Bring out how to adjust the mirror. It's that little uh, little D-pad right there. This car is something else, guys. There we go. Auto up. I think this is real wood on the steering wheel. what the front looks like. Oh man. This definitely ain't no Chevy Malibu, tell you that much. It took me a minute earlier to figure out how to work this damn seat. So I guess the memory key needs to be put in. Looks like a memory key. Scoot it back up. Quick tour of this thing. It's got navigation, satellite radio, car phone even. At least that's what I'm assuming that is. Or it's Bluetooth, which actually I don't even know if it has Bluetooth or if that's linked up to your phone somehow. ESP, I don't know if that's traction control or not, or no, it's electronic stability program. I would bet money that that's what that is. That is probably 
the economy and sport mode. Um, heated seats, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> this is like, I think this is only like the second or third time I've driven this car. Uh, that's for the top, which I'm not going to drop that. It's actually kind of cold outside. And then it's got these, these aren't back seats, but they look like it. They sure look like it, guys. And I'll give it, I'll give Mercedes one thing. The fucking build quality in this car is like top notch. I mean, it's, I, I don't hate Mercedes, but I would not buy one unless I was like loaded with money. Um, yeah, this is all leather. The dash is all leather. I mean, yeah. Which, in all honesty, though, if I was to ever buy one of these, it would be a lease. And that's simply because with a lease, you know, you turn it in after a year or two years or whenever your lease is up. I mean, these things depreciate so freaking much compared to, like, a Toyota or an Acura or, or any other car. I mean, I don't know how much this car is brand new, but I, I'm sure it's, like, worth a third of what it was brand new. You're not going to wind up owning something that a few years down the road is going to cost you an arm and a leg to repair like these Mercedes do. But uh, here's the gauge cluster. You have your, your coolant speedometer with odometer. Outside temperature. And your tack. And then your fuel gauge. Unfortunately, this car doesn't have any flappy paddles on it, but it's got steering wheel mounted radio controls and... Uh, your phone controls and then looks like switch between your different menus oh that's up there huh. and then you can yeah I mean there's so many damn buttons and knobs and dials in this car it's just like you have Bose Bose sound system in here that's cool I guess I don't know much about Bose all I know is they're a pretty big name at least you get what you pay for you know not that I could justify owning one of these, and unless, like I was saying, either I leased it or I was rich. And then we have reading lights, looks like, and for some reason they're not working. No idea. SOS button. I'm not going to dig around with that. Oh, there we go. I wonder if this is a dimmer or something. No idea. You even have what looks like your fog light wipers or windshield wipers or something. I mean, even that has a nice hefty thunk to it. That's really kind of cool, actually. I don't know what all that's doing. I'm going to just leave it off. That's your trunk release right here. Mercedes really has their own way of doing things. Um, and this whole car is just... I mean, you even got a little cubby hole right here underneath the seat. Interesting. controls and everything over here. Hmm. Parking brakes right there. I was just looking for that actually. Yeah, you have, you know, looks like your high beam, low beam control and windshield wipers. I guess it uh, declutters the steering wheel. But, uh, Toyota has something like that too, a cruise control stick that kind of sticks out like that. Hmm. 